वेलकम बैक इन टूडेज वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू अ सब्सक्रिप्शन मैनेजमेंट वेब एप्लीकेशन और वेब डैशबोर्ड विच इज क्रिएटेड बाई यूजिंग दी गूगल शीट एज ए डेटा बेस सो वी हैव द टू यूजर रोल्स द एडमिन एंड द यूजर सो आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू ऑल द थिंग्स स्टेप बाय स्टेप फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल इंटर आवर लॉग इन डिटेल्स एंड क्लिक ऑन दिस लॉग इन so when we click on this login it will authenticate if the id or password is correct it will redirect you to the dashboard so this dashboard this is a subscription portal with its name we can easily understand a company providing a subscription to the clients and they will keep record of their subscriptions okay now what's the feature in this subscription portal we will discuss out first uh, step by step first of all you can see here the total nine subscriptions is uh, we have in our dashboard or in our database the eight subscription we have in active uh, in active case okay the total revenue we have generated and the total profit we have generated okay now this is a section which already told to you or which already tell to you this subscription is not expired yet you can see the total nine subscription but eight active subscription so you will not consider this cons uh, this subscription is be expired because six days left to expire this subscription so why i add this feature for example if you want this subscription if you want a subscription to your client okay they will be expired within 30 days and this section will help you to know that this particular client in, in this days remaining to subscription you can send a reminder to the admin okay yes send it or to the email yes send it okay so the email will be send it to that particular person now this is the expired subscriptions you can see here the total line subscription but the active subscription is our 8 okay so this one is expired you can see here that this particular name and this particular license is expired on this particular date so if you want to click on this view you can easily able to view this all the data as of now you can able to see the subscription details of this particular user okay now you can see here the monthly revenue of your dashboard of your com of your company sales and you can see here the status distribution which we use here the pie chart you can see here the active and the expired and now you can also see the here the category distribution which software license your company will be issued you can easily manage out in your google sheet so you can also category distribution and recent five subscriptions which you have given to your um, uh, to your clients you will see here okay now when you click on this add subscription so in add subscription you can easily add a new subscription we will do it now and in the manage subscription so we will check out the manage subscription so as of now you can able to see here in the manage subscription we have added a so many functionalities first of all if you want to so if you want to delete a particular data you can easily select it by using this particular icons check boxes and click on this delete selected and click on this yes deleted item so when you click on this this deleted item your data will be deleted by you can see here successfully deleted for subscription now we have remaining subscriptions here so if you want to check out any subscriptions data you can simply click on this view button so that particular subscriptions data will be shown in the pop up form in front of you okay you can see here now again if you want to edit this particular data you can simply click on this edit button so you can easily edit this particular subscription okay this is also good and if you want to delete this subscription you can simply press on this delete button and click on this yes delete it okay now the one One more thing, I wanna show you. When in the add subscription section, we will go. We just need to enter our name. We will enter the sample. We will uh, enter the sample invoice one two three. Okay, the renewal invoice is the sample one two three four and the categories. Okay, you can add the categories from the drop down here. If the category is not available here, 
you can simply click on this manage categories and you can add a new category okay i will just add a new category here and click on this add so when i click on this add as of now you can able to see here the category added successfully okay so now you for in the drop down you can easily select a new category you can select a particular date of the invoice the product key you can add here sample one two three four okay the user quantity how much quantity okay uh, license distribution okay one month six month one year two years so when you click on, click on this two years now you can able to see here the sales person so if you don't have a sales person you can easily add a new sales person from here so you can check out here we have added a successfully new sales person and now in the drop down we can select here the new sales person from here okay now the starting date is this particular date and the expiring date which you want to edit you can easily add out that you can see here the days left to expire your uh, subscription and now the status is active or not product this, uh, description you can add here the sample one and the selling price you can add here the 1500 and the purchase price you can add here the 960 so your profit will become the 540 now the supplier name is this for example i am just enter my name okay here the supplier name and the supplier email i just enter here the email id here and just click on uh, enter id and remarks i will add anything and click on this save subscription so when i click on this save subscription as of now you can able to see here this subscription is going to be saved successfully so when you go to your, in your manage subscription so here you will get this subscription which we have added here so it will take three seconds time to refresh your dashboard data okay so now if you want to expand this data and you if you click on this view you can easily view out that now let's come to the settings sections many of our subscribers have issue that we need to give a setting to set a currency so now we have added a currency you can select or you can update your pref uh, preferred currency so for example if i select this particular indian rupees and click on this update currency now my all the dashboard will be converted into the indian rupees okay so you can see here the currency updated successfully and in the profile section you can easily add out your email id you can easily add out your email id here what you want to add okay and now it's okay now you click on this update profile so when you click on this update profile your email is going to be updated in the database so as of now you can able to see here your email is going to be added successfully so in manage users our admin can add new users okay so we will check it out that the admin how can add the when you click on this add new user he will just give him a name for example this particular user and this particular email its type is user and click on this add user so when he click on this add user that particular user is going to be added successfully now in the user section the user can only able to see the subscriptions which he have added their self not all the subscriptions in the admin case we can see all the managed subscriptions but user can only see their own clients so as of now you can able to see here before that i don't have added the sales person functionality in my previous checking data after that i have added a sales person's functionality so you can also check out that which a uh, person have issued this license or this subscription uh, to this particular client so you can also see here the sales person so if you uh, also in this portal we have a feature dot log out your login uh, your login session will be saved in your chrome storage so when you ever refresh your data it will not be log out hope you like this video you like this concept thank you very much take care